hello welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber what's up if you're new here hello my name is janelle welcome 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 so happy to have you today is july july sis we're in august today is august 11th it is currently 5 52 in the morning don't know if y'all can see that but i'm about to get ready to go to work i actually was supposed to be off today i was off I'm off for three days, but I decided to pick up a trip because I'm not going to go to Houston or go visit anybody. So I'm like, I might as well pick up a little trip. So I picked up a two day trip. I'm going from Cleveland to Denver, Denver to Cancun. I have about a 13 and a half hour layover in Cancun. But the hotel is going to be near the airport. So I'm not sure what's going to be in the vicinity and not sure if there's going to be anything for me to do activity wise. But once I get there, we'll figure it out. And then tomorrow I'm going to go from Cancun to Houston and then deadheading from Houston to Cleveland, I believe. There's definitely a deadhead somewhere in the leg um, coming back tomorrow. So that's what's on the agenda for today. I'm a little bit behind schedule um, as far as getting ready. So I'm about to get ready really quick and then come back on camera to talk to y'all some more. All right, y'all, I'm all dressed and ready to go. Well, somewhat. I still gotta go downstairs and pack some things in my lunch bag because it's a two-day trip. I'm trying to save some coins by taking a little bit of food with me. So yeah, I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna get ready to head out the door. So it's about like 6.35 right now. Checking is done until 8.08, I think. But I have to take the public transportation to get to the airport. A portion of the rail service is down, so I have to take a train to a certain stop, then get off, take a bus, and then go to the airport. But the way that I'm moving right now, I might have to catch an Uber because the last few days that I've been taking the train and bus to get to the airport, like some days it's been a short ride there, some days it takes longer because the bus doesn't come right away or the train doesn't come right away. It's just a mess. So I need to make sure I get there on time because I kind of, you guys, well not kind of, I um got in a little bit of trouble this week i left my link which is my work phone in houston so i worked two trips without my link and i had to get a loaner link from my supervisor to use while i was working and then i also had a late check-in for standby this week so i'm waiting to see what the repercussions of that's going to be but yeah i can't take any chances i need to be on my best behavior ride the rest of this time i have left on probation smooth sailing okay because i'm almost there i ain't got time to be effing up so <laughs> i might catch you over honestly uh yeah so that's where we're at with it right now but this is how i'm looking i'm feeling cute this is gonna be my first day going to work with a red lip so i think it looks good but yeah all right let me put this camera away and <laughs> finish getting ready <laughs> okay well, i'm downstairs now i'm about to pack some things on my lunch pail and i decided i'm going to uber so that i'll have time to actually pull out my camera again and get some footage for y'all see i'm making sacrifices here for you um and this napkin even though i should probably put this in a plastic bag but i don't think it's gonna fit but i just have a metal straw so i'm just gonna wrap this up because i want to mess up my lipstick today shouldn't be eating this because it's not one bit healthy but it was so good 
It doesn't look that good because you know it's not melted and it was refrigerated. But baby, when I melt this bad boy, delicioso. So I guess maybe y'all want to see me cut it, perhaps. <laughs> so I think. Take two little squares. off of Instacart and this is so good because believe it or not I love putting bananas like in matcha so I would like blend it together but now I don't have to do that so this is so good so I'm gonna pour some of this in the jar like so how things are looking inside i need to see better ice packs if y'all have any good recommendations for ice packs let me know because these ones are trash they don't stay cold long i mean frozen long and stuff be melting within like an hour well not melting but defrosting so i'm gonna 
everything up. Let me show y'all how I stack everything up on my suitcase. Going through the airport with all these bags. Okay, so this is the suitcase. And then I usually put my tote on top like so. And I put it up like that. And then I take this little bag here. And then there's more. <laughs> But this bag, I just fall I'll probably put around my shoulder. Because sometimes my bag's already really falling as it is. The more you put on there, the harder it gets to tow. So, <laughs> and then I just do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna take that other purse off there just to make this a little bit easier to transport. But, um, yeah, okay, artichokey. We are ready to go. I have probably like 15, 20 ish minutes to spare before I call my Uber. So I might make me like a breakfast little sandwich with raisin bread and peanut butter and then ready to go. So I'm actually glad that I decided to get an Uber because I was able to get some additional footage for y'all in the mornings to show what it looks like of me getting ready. Um, but this clip is definitely not as accurate. It is in real life of me doing it. It's very chaotic, but on camera, you know, stuff looks a lot smoother than what it really is in reality. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, um, I'm ready for today. It's gonna be a good day. I'm in a good mood. I'm well rested, even though I didn't get that much sleep, but I got more hours of rest than I did the last few days um, this week. So I'm feeling good. It's not gonna be too bad of a day as far as flying time. I think in total it's like six, maybe six and a half hours and it's broken up between two legs. So I have a little bit of break in between. So it won't be too bad. And then by the time I land in Cancun, it's still gonna be pretty early. I think we're getting there around 4 p.m. ish, I think. I don't know, but we just gonna say 4. It's gonna be early. Um, that's all I know. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, this vlog is gonna be a good one. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I get to Cancun, but I'm gonna try and do a little something. But don't be mad at me if I don't, because like I said earlier, I don't know where that hotel is at. And if it's really far, your girl will be staying at the hotel because those drivers out there sometimes be trying to charge $50 to go two miles <laughs> so we'll see what ends up happening but yeah stay tuned okay guys i just made it to the airport just got through kcm and now i'm about to launch my gate it is 7 42 a.m i believe my check-in is at 8 08 so i think i have just enough time to maybe get something to eat i know i said i was gonna make a sandwich but I didn't because I'm talking to one of my roommates and lost track of time. So I need to get something to eat because my stomach is growling. So I'm gonna do that really quick and then head to the gate and get ready to check in. So I will catch up with y'all once I'm on the aircraft. Boarding is so crazy. I'm about to go guys. Talk to you when I land. All right y'all, walking to the plane now for our next flight. We just landed in Denver about 10, 15 minutes ago. So we're walking to our aircraft a little bit early, gonna get settled. I mean, we have like 15 minutes until boarding starts. So I'm gonna get set up and talk to y'all once I am sitting down. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna sit down. So the first flight was pretty good. No issues, smooth sailing. I got to fly with two people from my class. One person um, is Joanna, and the other one is Gregory. Joanna, I love so much. We actually hung out a couple times outside of work. She's so dope. And we're gonna be planning to do something together probably in the next upcom upcoming week or so. Um, but she is actually the extra, is what we call it, the load. So she's going on a four day trip, and I think she, she's gonna end her day in Omaha, Nebraska. And it's gonna be me and the two other people that I flew with prior on the first flight, and then additional person from another base is gonna be flying with us into Cancun. Um, so I think the block time for this flight is like three hours and 58 minutes. I'm hoping the captain is like, yeah, we should get there in three and a half. So I'll see what they say once we do the briefing. And hopefully all will go well. I am definitely in need for a nap. 
um yeah so i will check in with y'all once i land in cancun you know i'm gonna show you the hotel room all that jazz so definitely will give y'all a peek of that not sure still what i'm gonna do when we get when i get there but I'm going to figure it out. We'll see if my crewmates want to do anything. We kind of briefly talked about it on our last flight that we may try to take a Uber somewhere. Um, so we'll see how we're feeling. Like it's one thing to think you're going to do something and then once you finally land, depending on how your body is acting, you may not do anything. <laughs> so we'll see. Stay tuned. We'll be coming down the aisle with arrival forms for Mexico. This is flight number 1125. Today's date is August 11th. If you have mobile entry for the mobile passport app, you don't have to complete the paper form. If you need a paper form, please let us know. You do not have any pins on board, so we don't have a pin we encourage you to ask your fellow customers to see if we can borrow one of theirs. Okay, y'all, we just landed in Cancun. Just got out of customs. Now we're about to walk to the area for the hotel shuttle. So once I get back, well, once I get to my hotel, I will tap it with y'all. <laughs> Okie dokie, are you chokies? Made it to my hotel room. There's your girl. What's up? Okay, shower. The bathroom's cute. The hotel is cute. Double bag. I already know. I love my double bag. There's me. <laughs> okay. Flat screen TV. Let's see what this view is looking like. Not much of anything. But it's a very nice day outside. Cute. All right, y'all. So I am kind of tired. But, um,. The van ride was a little bit longer than expected coming from the airport to get to the hotel because there was a lot of construction going on outside. It was only supposed to take like probably 10 minutes max, but it took like almost 25 minutes to get here. Uh, but it's two crews that are actually staying in this hotel that were got picked up, that got picked up in the shuttle with me, including my crew that I flew with. And um, a bunch of them wanna go downstairs and have some tacos and drinks. So I'm gonna freshen up and change my clothes and head down there to mingle. And then we are undecided on whether or not we are gonna go out to the tourist area of Cancun or not, because all of us have early show times tomorrow. So we're all like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's talk. Remember I told y'all earlier, you be thinking you're going to have certain plans when you get off the plane and get to your hotel. But then once that fatigue set in and then after we eat and have a couple drinks, half of them probably going to be like, nah, I ain't trying to go, sis. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'll definitely keep y'all updated. But yeah, going to change and get some food because I'm starving. Okay, I just threw on something really quick. Everyone's already downstairs, so I got to hurry up. All right, see y'all. Hey y'all, so it's the next morning. It's currently 5.42 a.m. The shuttle to take us to the airport will be here at 6 a.m. to pick up me and the rest of my crewmates. We are flying to Houston and then deadheading from Houston to Cleveland. So today's gonna be a pretty easy day. I really think the, um, I think the flight from Cancun to Houston is only like two and a half hours. I'm about to check right now. Let's see. Do, 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 do. It's loading. Okay, yeah, it's acting crazy. All right, we're just gonna say it's about two and a half hours. I'm gonna go with my first mind. And yeah, it's a pretty easy day. The trip honestly wasn't that bad as far as the working component of it. Last night, y'all, once I got that footage of me jumping into the pool 
Um, well, I didn't all the way jump in the pool because I can't swim. So when I say jump, I mean literally placing myself gently into the water. Um, <laughs> but everybody else, they jump, jump for real in the water, which was very fun. Um, but yeah, after the pool experience, your girl came upstairs showered and got in the bed and went to sleep because i was so tired yesterday i feel like in every vlog i'm expressing how tired i be but y'all i really do be tired i don't be exaggerating um but nonetheless i'm still gonna try to do a little bit of something i'm gonna try and you know make some sort of memory for every trip that i take for the most part but then there's some trips where i literally have not vlogged haven't turned on my camera i literally get to the hotel after landing at the airport shower get some food and i be knocked out and that's literally all i will do um, but those are trips that i've like probably done multiple times like portland or places where it's just like eh eh ain't nothing for my youtube family to really see for real um so i do have trips like that but where was i going with this i don't know but yeah, I think I was I think I was saying how I came up and went to sleep. Yeah, I went to sleep around like 8 30, 9 p.m. Really early. Uh this trip, like we didn't we really wanted to go into town, but we decided that it wasn't a good idea because we had to all be up early this morning and um remember how i was saying that the hotel is like near the airport. So in Cancun, the airport is far away from all the uh i guess the scenic areas that most people come to cancun to see and we were looking at uber rides it was going to take approximately 45 minutes to an hour to go to the places that we were eyeing so we were like yeah it's probably not going to be worth it because it's going to be approximately two hours of travel time round trip for us to go have a little bit of fun and by then it was already past 8 p.m so we were like mm, let's not take that chance and a couple people were like yeah we're still on probation like we don't want anything to go wrong and i'm like i feel you i feel you so they were all still hanging around at the pool before i uh, decided to dip out i was like yeah i gotta go I was tired so everything worked out the way it was supposed to be and it's not like i won't have the opportunity to come to cancun again i've already been here before technically last year for my birthday uh, me and some of my friends we flew into cancun but then we took a car to go to tulum so i guess technically i haven't really experienced cancun area but i've been to mexico is the point that i'm trying to make and um, i'm pretty sure i'll get another layover here in the future hopefully it'll be the long layover that time and then they'll put us in a hotel that's closer to the amenities that we would want to ideally check out but anyway not tripping too much on not really being able to do anything there's going to be many 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 more trips many dope layovers in the future so it's all good but yeah i am going to finish packing the last few things that i have lingering around put them in my suitcase and then head downstairs to get ready to put all my stuff in the shuttle and head to the airport so i will check in with y'all once i get there maybe if not I'll check in with y'all once I land in Houston and let you know how everything went. So, see y'all in the next clip. And because it's so early, your girl is not doing any makeup. I barely wanted to restraighten this wig. That's as far as I got this morning. So, yeah, you'll have them days where <laughs> you ain't gonna want to do nothing. If you barely had the energy to put on your uniform. You think I'm about to do a whole face of makeup? Absolutely not. No ma'am, no ham, no Sam. It's too early for all that. Hey guys, so we landed in Houston not too long ago. I just came in the bathroom on the aircraft, so I'm in the lavatory just so I can record this clip and I'm getting ready to change my clothes. Um, let me back up a little bit. So yeah, we are pretty much done for the day. We're gonna deadhead back to Cleveland. I even contemplated staying here in Houston and fake deadheading and hanging out. I have to return to Cleveland tomorrow anyway because I will be back on to be available to the company after tomorrow. So I'm like, oh, does it make sense to stay in Houston for a couple of hours and have to turn back around and not really be able to spend that much time? So I just decided to go ahead and take the deadhead. So I'm in the bathroom now, I'm about to change into regular clothes. This trip overall was really, really good. But it's really hot in this um, bathroom right now. So I'm going to change. And then once I land and get back to my room, I will tap in with y'all. I don't know what's going on with me lately, but I be forgetting to close out these videos. My bad. My bad.
that, y'all. I'm looking crazy. Look, I done lost so many lashes. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm back home now, obviously. Oh, I can't believe I'm saying home. Like, Cleveland is my temporary home now. I'm back in Cleveland. I've been back for oof, probably like three hours or so. And it just hit me that, dang, Janelle, you didn't close out this vlog. So, here I am about to close out this vlog. <laughs> uh, the trip overall, y'all, it was good. No complaints, honestly. I can say the one thing, though. I was tired, but I'm always tired, so I guess that's nothing new. Uh, but yeah, it was good. Quick little two-day trip. I uh, definitely enjoyed flying with the individuals that I flew with. They were all really dope. No complaints, honestly. It was good. The flights were pretty easy, like two of the legs. We didn't really have full flights. And then one flight, we did kind of have a pretty full flight, but everyone was really chill. They were sleeping, weren't really needy. Like it was just really good cabins that I had like this entire trip, to be honest. Uh, so that's really nice, you know, when you're working and uh, you have cabins that just makes your job easier. I am very grateful for that. Love it. So, so grateful for you thank you for taking the time out to watch this vlog i am really enjoying creating these for you guys and i just can't wait to see how this channel continues to grow i love seeing your comments keep them coming i read them all i try to respond to everybody uh, to the best of my ability and I'm just really, really happy to know that you guys are enjoying the content, that so many of you are finding the content relatable and either are going uh, to do interviews to be a flight attendant or already got your conditional job offer, you're preparing for training or you've already graduated and you're getting ready to go out on the line. So excited for all of you guys, no matter what part of the process you are in as it pertains to being a flight attendant or becoming a flight attendant. I'm rooting for you and your success, and I'm wishing you all the best on your journey. And also to my viewers who aren't flight attendants or don't have any interest in being a flight attendant, but you're just watching the vlogs and videos and content that I post because they bring you some sort of enjoyment or encouragement, whatever, whatever the case may be. I appreciate you just as much. I'm thankful for all of you guys. I really, really am. And um, definitely want to continue interacting with you more like drop me a comment hit me up on instagram like i love talking to you guys believe me i really do so thank you so much sending you lots of love and light per usual praying for you sending you good vibes and just hoping you have a blessed rest of your day week weekend whenever you're watching this video and yeah i will catch y'all in the next upload peace